Okay, there are some second order differential equations that can be reduced to first order. Typically, a uh, second order differential equation looks like this, it's got a uh, x, y, y dash, and a y double dash. Now, there are two possibilities where we can make substitutions that actually help reduce the, uh, the equation to a first order, which is solvable. And usually, uh, it, type 1 is where y, uh, y, the dependent variable, is missing. So when y is missing, because remember we're looking at a situation where y, y is a function of x. So if y is missing, we call it type 1, and in that case what you're looking at is fx y dash y double dash equals 0. I'm going to solve that equation, and what we do is we say let um, some s equal y dash. This implies that um, s dash equals y double dash. Okay, and that reduces the equation to just x s and s dash equal to zero so you get a first order differential equation in s you solve that and then you go back to this and solve another first order differential equation and that gives you your answer so let's look at an example so here's an example x y double dash plus y dash equals x squared you will see that y is missing so let s equal y dash this implies s dash equals y double dash this further implies that the equation becomes x, um, x s dash plus s equals x squared. Now it happens to be, now you can use, because it's a first order differential equation, you can use techniques for solving a first order ODE. In this case, we notice that uh, quite quickly that this can be written as d by dx equals x squared, which means that. Um, this implies, of course, that sx is the integral of x squared dx, which further implies that sx is equal to x cubed over 3 plus constant c1, and so we end up with s equals x squared over 3 plus c1 over x. Now remember, remember s is a y dash, so you end up with dy dx equals x squared over 3 plus c1 over x, which means dy is okay dx and so separable therefore we can integrate both sides and this further implies that y is simply x cubed over 9 and we've solved the differential equation so this is a typical second order differential equation would be expected to have two um, arbitrary constants which we have here and of course, given um, initial conditions or boundary conditions, you can further solve the problem. Okay, so type uh, the type two uh, second order differential equation is where x is missing. So basically, you have this situation, and the second order differential equation, the x, the independent variable, is missing. So um, in this case, what we do is we let again s equal y dash, which implies that y double dash is equal to s dash and which is of course as you know ds let's, let's start it in this form it's ds dx now we can use a little bit of trickery here we know that that can be written as ds dy into dy dx okay it's the same thing so this is using just chain rule now the advantage of that is as follows but wait um, that tells us that that's y dash so that's equal to ds dy times s. So in other words, therefore, so s is equal to dy dx, and of course, and d2y dx squared, or the second derivative of y, is equal to ds dy times s. Now, let's look at an example. Look at this um, quick one, D, uh, second order differential equation here again. As you see, the x is missing in this case. So as we use the substitution, this equation converts to uh, the second derivative is just going to give me s ds dy, okay, plus the y stays as it is, equals zero. This, is a, this implies, this is a separable equation, so we can say s uh, ds equals minus y dy. So then we integrate both sides, and that gives us s squared over 2 equals minus y squared over 2 plus c1.
is equal to this. So 2c1 is just another constant, so we'll say s simplicity, we'll say minus y squared plus constant, let's say c2. So s is equal to minus y squared plus c2 uh, under the root, of course, and we have plus or minus. And here also we'll have, of course, plus or minus. Now, uh, in order to do the, finish this off, s, remember, is uh, in our substitution, s is ds, uh, dy dx. So this implies that dy dx, in fact, is equal to plus or minus square root of c2 minus y squared. Okay. Now, that uh, is separable. So we have dy over c2 minus y squared plus or minus equals dx, integrate both sides, and you end up with, now for simplicity, if you don't mind, I'm going to introduce this, and um, I'm going to make this squared, so it's, uh, because it's any constant, doesn't really matter, okay, it's not really important, so c squared minus uh, y squared, what that will do is, um, this way I, I'll get uh, plus or minus sine inverse of y over c2 okay this is equal to x plus uh, constant let's say c3 so now this is plus or minus here so now what we have is um, y over c2 equals sine of x plus c3 so this is going to give us y is equal to c2 sine of x plus c3 so this will be